I'm Bill Owens and we're going to make a flip book of photographs I took some 50 years ago. Actually December 10th 1969 was a Rolling Stones concert at Altamont and I made some dramatic photographs, hid my name because I didn't want anybody to know who I am because uh, the Hells Angels would come and get me. So some 50 years later here's the book. So that morning uh, Thousands of people uh, poured into Altamont. Many people came on the freeway and walked into the old racetrack. This is coming in the back road from Vasco from Livermore. And eventually you just abandon your car. And that day I had a motorcycle, uh, which I've owned very few because I usually have the death wish, so I sold it later. But here uh, I just parked my motorcycle here and then walked in the last uh, mile or so. There's people walking in, sitting down to relax. Uh, here's kind of the classic shot, the super beetle, the picnic basket, the American flag, the school bus, all the symbols are there. And somebody actually remembered to bring something to drink because there are no uh, food stands. I don't even see any porta stands or anything. And here's the, the black and white overview. Uh, this is probably taken about noon. And eventually it says 100,000 people there. Uh, there's no chairs. <laughs> people just gather together to hear music play for an hour or two hours all day and all night. Uh, here's, uh, again, somebody brought their own sign for the Rolling Stones. Here again, cars parked up on that hill. The, the, many people, they said a lot, up to 100,000 people came the night before and there were fires everywhere. Uh, people went over to a fence where it had lath in it and tore the lath out and built fires that night. But the little lath of fire probably lasted half an hour and it was over. Again, Jagger in here. Where's Waldo? There's Waldo. Here he is again, our star, our hero, our cultural icon. Again, uh, when I look back at these overviews, I'm over. I can't believe it. You know, there's just that many people there. And I'm up in the sound tower on the top where nobody could see me. So I sat there, took a jar of water, some sandwiches, my Nikons, and just sat there for four or five hours. And by two o'clock, I ran out of film. And I went back to the lab to process and go home. I had a wife and kids. I'm not going to stay out all night smoking dope. You don't end up <laughs> married too long. In the middle of all that, some guy took off his clothes and just walked out into the crowd. Notice nobody's looking at him. Uh, this is Santana. Again, the classic bus. The people pushed up against this uh, thing. And I don't see the Hells Angels here yet, but they're coming. Uh, here's the angels parked over one side of the stage. And over here is a uh, fat Mexican. Um, I assume he was Mexican. Took off all his clothes and tried to climb up on the stage. And if you want to get beat up at a rock concert, just take off your clothes and somebody will beat you up. <laughs> and uh, here's, the, here's the Angels again. Not a friendly group. So the Angels, for some reason, bought pool cues to the event. And here's the, the guy that got beat up. I understand they kicked out of his teeth and he laid most of the day underneath the stand. Uh, there's no way to get emergency people out of there. there uh, I think <clears throat> another guy who was beaten up uh, they took him up on the hill and the stones wouldn't loan their helicopter. They didn't have permit to carry another passenger or whatever. Here again is the stones with both of them in co coordination <clears throat> uh, beating up. Notice the photographer uh, can't even take a picture. This is over in just a nanosecond with beating people up and then uh, the crowd closes back around. This the guy is just drunk I think. And here's just a shot of one of the guys laying down to rest as the parade of people. Uh, so again, it's been 50 years, uh, and I'm happy to have this done, and I'm really happy to be showing what my real love was, Suburbia, which, for which I received at Guggenheim. So that book was done four years after Altamont. And this is my first job. I was 30 years old, working for a newspaper. 